Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this Monday evening. Hope you had a lovely weekend. Looking forward to a nice week ahead. Um, our theme today is Unite. So let us try and work on uniting our mind, our body and our breath. Um, so we'll dip in and out of that throughout our practice today. Um, and don't forget, if there's anything you'd like me to do in a practice, or if you'd like me to focus on something or to explain something, uh, please do let me know. Um, as always, throughout your practice, listen to your body and only do what feels right for you today. Uh, so let us begin by lying down. Lying down in whatever way makes you feel comfortable today. Closing your eyes and slowing down. Set aside everything that's going on in your life, your roles, responsibilities, to-do lists. Leave them all to one side as you just bring yourself to your mat. And let's spend this next hour uniting our mind with our body through our breath. Staying in the moment and focusing on that unity within ourselves. And let your attention go to the base of your spine, noticing how it feels against the mat. Directing your breath here. And then beginning to move that attention upwards to your navel area. And on up to your sternum. Noticing the rise and fall of your sternum with your breath. Noticing your heart area. Allowing a freedom here. A feeling of space. and the base of your throat where your collarbones meet. Noticing the sensation of your breath as it passes through this point. And that point between your eyebrows, your third eye. Finding a stillness here. Softening all the muscles of your face. And noticing the crown of your head. How it feels. And then uniting all of those points. They're all your key chakra energy points. Thinking about your energy circulating through your body, through these points. Mm -hmm. 
and then letting your attention rest on your breath. Inhaling through your nose, filling your belly. Pause and then exhaling. A nice steady, slow breath. Thinking about that nice oceanic sound you can make with your breath, with your exhale. Are you just slightly close over your throat to make that sound? Or you can imagine breathing through your collarbones. Let's take three more breaths here. And then when you're ready, bending your knees and rolling over onto your side, let's come up to sit. And you might wanna sit on a block as you just make yourself comfortable here. Sitting up nice and tall. Close your eyes and just think about joining all the bits together, uniting everything. So from your seat bones all the way up through your spine, neck, the crown of your head as you sit up nice and tall, release any tension in the shoulders or the jaw, engaging the core to just support you here. And then let's just draw those shoulders up to the ears, pushing them back and dropping them down. And again, up and back and down, up and back and down. And raising the head up to gaze at the ceiling, bowing it down to the floor, Letting the back of the neck stretch out. Coming back to the center, turning the head to the left, keeping that chin parallel with the floor as we then slowly rotate it all the way to the right. And coming back to the center, letting the head just the left ear fall towards that left shoulder, feeling that nice stretch on the right side of the neck and shoulder. And then taking that over to the other side. And back to the center, let's raise both arms up past the ears. And letting the left hand come down, let's take a bend over to the left. And coming back to the center, let's take it over to the right. And back to the center, let's take a twist to the left. and back to the center, taking a twist 
to the right. And back to the center, bringing the hands behind you, opening out the chest to look upwards. And bringing the arms back up, back to the center as we come forward. And draw back to the center. Okay, so we're going to flow through that. So think about uniting now with your breath, the whole movement, your awareness of that movement and your breath. We'll inhale every time we're in the center and exhale to the various points. So it's the bend on each side, the twist on each side, the back and then the forward. So you might want to close your eyes as you flow through it, whatever feels good for you. So let's start raising the arms up, taking an inhale here, and exhale as we drop the left hand down and bend to the right. Inhale as we rise up, bringing the right hand down, bending to the right. Raising the arms up as we inhale, exhaling to a twist to the left. And raising the arms up for the inhale, exhaling, twisting to the right. Raising the arms up for the inhale, exhaling with the arms behind you, opening the chest and raising the arms up for the inhale, exhaling down to your forward bend and back to the center. And let's take it two more times. So going at your own pace, actually we'll take it three more times, going at your own pace, in your own style and just really feeling that connection, that unity between your body movement, your breath, and keeping your mind in the present moment, aware of every movement. And if you've completed one circuit of it, let's go again. And then going one last time. And really accentuating the twists and stretches now.
coming all the way back to the center. Good, and from here, let's come on to all fours. Having the shoulders over the wrists, the hips over the knees. And let's raise the right leg up. And we're just gonna bob it here. So it's just bobbing up and down. And now let's do little circles with that leg. Holding the leg straight and just drawing a circle with the leg. And then let's take that circle in the opposite direction. And bringing that knee back down into place, let's raise the left leg up, hip height, stretching it out and again. Just let it bob here. Letting your awareness rest on that leg and how it feels. And now let's draw a circle with the leg. And then taking that circle in the opposite direction. And bringing it back to tabletop once again. And from here, let's make our way into a downward dog, nice and slowly. So curling the toes, pushing back with the hips, raising the knees, getting that spine in that position that you want, that lovely length, the head nice and free, the neck nice and soft. And then just beginning to pedal those legs to let them stretch and waken up. Until you're ready to come to stillness. Now let's take three breaths here, remembering to Open those shoulders out so, so you're like making it as wide as you can between your shoulder blades. Pressing into the mat with the hands. And then from here, walk, step, or maybe even jump to bring your feet up to meet the hands. And bend the knees coming all the way up to stand at the top of your mat. So we're standing with our feet hip width apart. Checking in with that alignment, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. And pressing into the mat with your toes, getting the pads of the toes deeply connected with the mat. And let's begin to engage the body. So thinking about drawing the calves together and the thighs apart, lifting up the pelvic floor, belly button in and up. Engaging the glutes, draw the arms up in the air so the palms are facing each other. And let's pretend we've got something here between our hands that we're trying to press together. So let's just imagine this resistance as we press them together, feeling the whole body engage. And from here, sweeping the arms out to the side, soften the body, 
as you come into a nice stretch, a nice forward fold. Exhale. Rising up to halfway lift, lengthening through the spine here, being aware of your back. Remember, we like to be able to have a, a cup of tea on our back here in, ha in our halfway lift. And coming back down into forward fold again here, keeping a softness in the knees. And let's step the right leg back for our low lunge, setting it up, making sure this left knee is over the ankle, arms past the ears. And then taking it through to our plank. Shoulders over wrists, softness in the elbows, three breaths here. And then coming down whatever way suits you. So through your knees, feet, chest, belly, or lowering yourself down slowly onto the mat. And then let's draw the forehead and chest away. Pressing with the hands to push on up into our downward dog. Three breaths here. And then raising that right leg up, let's step it through for our low lunge. And then stepping up into forward fold, getting a little bit deeper now. Bending those knees. Coming all the way up. Once again, let's engage the whole body. So think about every muscle coming into engagement here. As we imagine we're trying to squeeze something together up above our heads. And then softening the body through to our forward fold. Coming up to halfway. And forward fold again. And let's step the left leg back for our low lunge. Keeping the shoulders soft. And then through to our plank. And lowering yourself down onto your mat. And then let's draw away to our back bend and push on up through tabletop to our downward dog once again. Raising that left leg up and out behind you, let's step it through for our low lunge. And making our way up into forward fold. 
bending the knees, coming all the way up. And let's bring those hands into prayer at the chest. Good. And from here, we've got our feet hip width apart, coming back into our alignment. And let's raise those arms up over the head, keeping the palms together. And take a bend to the left, feeling the whole right side of the body stretch and open. And then releasing that left hand down onto your hip to just deepen that bend. Keeping the shoulders square. And then coming back to upright, let's turn that left foot out. Actually, let's not do that. Let's raise our left foot up, holding on to our shin. Flexing that left foot, standing up tall. So again, we want those ears over shoulders, shoulders over hip, engaging the core here to help with your balance. And then from here, let's take it into a tree pose. So you can put the foot down before you raise it onto your calf or your thigh or go straight to your thigh if you like. Whatever works for you. But we want to try and keep that knee at a right angle. Finding that nice alignment, engaging the core, pressing the foot into the leg. Raising the arms up and opening them out. And then from here, bringing the hands down, holding on to the foot, the left foot. And let's just Open that leg out and open the right arm out. And then releasing with great grace and dignity, I'm sure, our left foot down onto the mat, raising both arms up once again, palms together. This time bringing those toes together, heels a little bit apart as we come down into a chair pose, bending the knees, really flexing the hips, bringing those hands down. Let's take a twist to the left. Thinking about your chest, looking at your thumbs in this nice twist. And then coming back to centre and all the way up to stand once again. Okay, we'll take that to the other side. So stepping the feet hip width apart again, raising the arms up over the head, palms together. Let's take our bend to the right this time, feeling that whole left side of the body stretch and open. And then bringing that right hand down onto your hip. As you just deepen that bend, keeping the shoulders nice and square. And coming back to upright, shifting the weight into the left leg this time. And let's draw the right leg up. You might find this side easier or more challenging than the other side. Finding your alignment, 
and then your stillness. And then taking it from here into a tree, either by letting the foot come down onto the mat and then onto the calf or thigh, or taking it directly to the leg. Whatever works for you today. There's no right or wrong. Try to keep that knee at the right angle. And when you're feeling ready, Raise the arms up and open them out. And then from here, bringing the hands down, holding on to that right leg as you now open it out, away from the body, and open the left arm out to the side. And then with great poise and dignity, let it all come down as we stand with our feet hip width apart, raising those arms up, Palms together here with the arms running past the ears. And then let's bring those toes together. Coming into our chair pose as we lower the hips, bending the knees, bring the hands down into prayer at the chest. And this time taking a twist to the right. And coming back to the center and up to stand. Good. Closing the eyes and just check in with yourself. Notice your breath move through your body, noticing how your body responds to that. And keeping your mind focused on your body and your breath. This very present moment. And then let's step it out to come into a nice star pose. So feet are about two or three hip widths apart, bringing the arms into a T, toes pointing forward, softening the shoulders. One more breath here, remembering to engage that core as you exhale. And then let's rotate this right foot to point at the top of the mat, turning that left foot inwards, bending the knee Let's come into an extended side angle. So we're letting our right arm rest on our thigh, drawing the left arm up past the ears. And then from here, Bringing the hands down onto the mat, just rotate that back foot. And we are going to step the right leg back and raise that left leg up for a three legged downward dog. And then 
Let's step that left leg down and raise the right leg up. And then stepping that right foot forward, we're going to come up into a high lunge. So bending that right knee, so it's over the ankle, rising up with the arms. And then letting that back heel come down, let the left hand come onto that back thigh, turning the right palm to face upwards as you gaze with it, gaze at it, and then just rotate the rib cage around towards it. You can keep that bend in the front knee. And then releasing that right hand down, let's just level up the body again. So it's facing forward, drawing the arms behind you, gazing upwards. And from here, we're going to shift the weight into this right leg as we raise that left leg up behind us. Let the arms come backwards and the body come forwards. Then letting those arms come down onto the mat, stepping that left leg back and raising that right leg up again for your three-legged dog. And step the right foot forward once again, this time stepping the left foot across so the heels are lined up with each other, we're going to come back into our extended side angle. And then keeping the legs as they are, rising up, open out the right arm in front of you, drawing this left arm back across your chest. So it's like we've got a bow and arrow here. Let the chest really open. And then coming back into your star. Engage in that core with each exhale. And then from here, rotating this left foot to the back of the mat, turning that right foot inwards slightly. Let's take our extended side angle on this side. Feeling that lovely stretch along the whole outside of the right side of the body. And letting the hands come down onto the mat as you just rotate that right foot around and raise the left foot out behind you in your three-legged downward dog. Stepping that left foot through, let's rise up into 
our high lunge. We're on the toes of that back foot. And then taking a revolved triangle, uh, warrior, um, a reverse warrior, let your right hand come on to the back of that right th th uh, thigh. You can let the foot come fully onto the mat if you like, gazing at your raised left palm and rotating the rib cage towards it. And then drawing the arm down, bringing the head back to center, both arms behind you as you raise the gaze and the chest. And from here, we'll come into our toppling tree, as it's called. So we want to just raise that back leg. Let the arms come behind us. The body tip forward. <laughs> and hopefully more gracefully than me, let the hands come down, letting that right foot touch the ground as you raise that left leg up once more. And then stepping the left foot through once again, lining up those heels. Let's take it into our extended side angle. And coming all the way back up to our star pose. And from here, once again, turning that right foot to the top of the mat. The left foot, we're going to just step it across. So our feet are about hip width apart. Let's clasp our hands together. We're going to keep the front leg straight as we raise the arms up over the head and raise the gaze. And then taking this in the opposite direction, we're going to fold forward over this right leg. And then letting both hands come frame the foot here. Let's raise that left leg up. Our arms, our hands are on the floor here. And then releasing that left foot back down onto the mat, turning both feet to the front again as we come into our star. And from here, turning that left foot to the back of the mat, stepping the right foot across. Let the body rotate now, so it's facing the back of the mat. Um, both legs straight, clasping the hands, draw them up over the head, bringing a nice back bend in here. And then let's sweep forward into a nice 
forward fold over this extended leg. And then letting the hands come a little in front of that left leg as we raise the right leg up. And then letting the right foot come down onto the mat as we come back to finish in our star. Good, drawing the arms down, let's take it to the top of the mat. Feet hip width apart, hands in prayer at the chest, standing up tall here, closing the eyes, uniting with ourselves. And then from here, raising the arms up over the head, sweeping them out to come into a forward fold. And then we're gonna step it back here to a plank. Taking three breaths here. And from here, start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Turn those feet outwards to the edge of the mat and lower down into a nice squat. Pressing the elbows against the knees, the knees against the elbows. Close the eyes here and lengthen through the spine. and focus on the present moment. And then from here, draw the hands behind you to just lower yourself down onto your mat. And from here, bend the knees, let's hold on to the toes and just raise those legs up, finding your balance here, lengthening through the spine. And then lowering those legs down let them come out in front of you as you come into your star pose. Feet flex, toes pointing up to the ceiling. Let's just take a twist to the left, opening that left arm out. And coming back to the center, drawing that right foot into the thigh, holding on to the right toes here. Draw the left foot in, holding on to the left toes. Let's just raise that leg up. And the body is slightly turned to the left. And then drawing the foot down, letting both legs come out long once again. And let's this time take the twist to the right, opening out that right arm. And then as you come back, 
to the center, drawing the left foot in, holding on to the toes, bending that right knee as you raise that right leg up, taking a slight turn of the body towards that right leg. And then releasing it down and making your way down to lie on your mat. Hugging the knees into the chest and just taking a gentle little rock from side to side. And letting the feet come down, the legs come out long. Arms down by your sides with your palms facing upwards. Softening the body, releasing it into the mat. As you let go your toes and the soles of your feet, Letting go the tops of your feet, your heels and ankles, your calves and shins. Letting go the backs of your knees and the fronts of your knees, the backs of your thighs and the fronts of your thighs. Letting go your glutes and pelvis. The whole back of your body, back of your rib cage, length of your spine and your shoulder blades. Letting go the whole front of your body, front of your rib cage, chest, and shoulders. Your armpits, upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, the backs of your hands, the palms of your hands and your fingers. Letting go the back of your head, the crown of your head, your forehead, eyebrows, eyes, cheeks, jaw, chin, lips and tongue. The whole of your body, just let it go. And let's take a moment here of gratitude. Gratitude for that unity we feel between our body, our mind and our breath. And with that feeling of unity, let your total focus rest on your breath. Observing how your breath moves through your body, inhaling through your nose, filling your belly, pausing, and then exhaling. and remain here, united with your breath for the next few minutes. 